Alright guys, so today I'm going to talk about um, how to play defense uh, when you're facing a 2 on 1. Obviously you want to try and limit odd man rushes as much as you can, but they're going to happen every once in a while, so um, it's going to be important to know how to defuse these kind of situations. And the first part uh, of playing defense on a 2 on 1 is just being there. Um, you know, a 2-on-1 is obviously a lot better than a 2-on-0. So here I'm anticipating the puck is on the left side, so I don't need to pinch in. Uh, if anyone's going to pinch in, it's going to be my left defenseman. I'm on the right side here. Um, so I'm just anticipating that uh, my left defenseman, defenseman will pinch in and uh, the other team will still be able to break the puck out. Um, if I don't anticipate this, it's going to be a 2 on 0 breakaway. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to race back uh, and make sure that I don't let either of these guys behind me. What I do is I race back, get in the middle of them, and turn around. That's going to ensure that my stick is in the passing lane. And I'm not going to commit uh, too hard to either guy. So I, one thing I see a lot of guys do that results in goals is they commit 100% to one guy or the other. You do not want to do that. If I just go straight for the puck carrier right now, that's going to leave the pass wide open and it's going to be a goal. If I just play the pass 100%, um, then the guy with the puck is just going to walk right in and score. So I'm just going to stay right in the middle of them. And these guys actually do a smart thing. They make the early pass. That's going to make my job a lot harder. So if they just wait until the last second um, to make the pass, I'm odds are I'm going to have time to get myself in, in good position and prevent the play. So they make the early pass. That forces me to kind of lean back over to the other side. And now I know that they're probably going to pass that puck right back over. So what I do is I lie, lay down, and I'm able to get my stick in that lane right there and shut down the two-on-one. Um, here again, I'm anticipating that puck's at the blue line. Um, a lot of times, you just want to back up your defenseman in case he turns the puck over, which is what happens here. So once again, just get myself in position, turn around, get in between them. And uh, these guys had already kind of seen that uh, I was pretty good at covering the pass on a two-on-one earlier. So I kind of suspected that this guy was just going to hold on to the puck. Um, and also... On, when playing defense on a two-on-one, you want to see what kind of back-checking you have. So my left defenseman and my left winger are pretty close to being able to back-check the pass. So right now, I'm going to worry more about the puck carrier, since I think the pass is at least somewhat covered. So I just want to do my job, play my position, and prevent this guy from just walking in, which I do. And uh, as I suspected, he was planning on holding on to the puck the whole time. <clears throat> here again, look where I'm positioned right in the middle of these guys. And once again, they make that early pass. That forces me to swing back over. And I'm just going to lie down again. And luckily, uh, lying down right here, you'll notice I'm covering the pass. And I'm preventing the puck carrier from going to the forehand side and cutting across the net. So the goalie knows... The puck hitter only has one option. All he can do is go backhand, or uh, go to the glove side, rather. And he tries to go forehand on the glove side, and I snuff that out. Um, right here, same idea, skate back, turn around, get in the middle of him. And right here, I kind of tried to bait the puck carrier into making the pass. So I play a little closer to him, and I sort of swung over to the right like I was going to attack him. And then watch, I swing back to the left. So I basically baited him into making the play that I wanted to. And that's that's a thing that I do pretty often on two-on-ones. So here again, get in the middle of them. They make that early pass. Smart. I fade over towards the puck carrier. And then I swing back. And once again, this lie down right here, because of where they made that pass, I'm cutting off both the pass and the shot. They really have no options here. And I cut off the pass right there. Here... This is an interesting one. Uh, I'm going to respect the pass more than the puck carrier here because my right defenseman is pretty much breathing down the puck carrier's neck. So odds are he doesn't think he's going to be able to walk in. So I'll kind of swing over like I'm going after him, and then I swing to the left again, once again baiting him into doing what I want him to do, making them more predictable. Here, another two-on-one, going to get right in the middle of him. And right here, it looks like I have decent back-checking on the puck carrier. So I'm going to respect that pass. 
I lie down, and once again, I'm cutting off both options. So he can't make the shot. He can't make the pass. He's got no options. I've taken them all away. And that is really because uh, the puck carrier waited too long to make a play. So right here, if he makes that pass at the blue line, that is going to make my life so much harder. But he holds on to the puck and waits and waits, and that allows me to get into good position. Here, once again, um, really almost no back checking here. I'm pretty much all alone. Uh, and watch what these guys do. They make that early pass. Causes me to have to move a little more. Um, but luckily, I'm able to just barely get a stick on that one. But that was actually pretty good execution by the opposing team. Um, so anyway, that's my thoughts on uh, playing two-on-ones. Uh, I think it's one of my better strengths on defense, and I, I actually enjoy playing two-on-ones. Um, it's Each one presents a different challenge, so you just have to read the puck carrier um, and trust your instincts and just try to keep the guys in front of you. Just don't let anyone pass you. That's going to be key on the two-on-ones. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one.